Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Jordan here uh, in the Traders Terminal. And today I would like to share an opportunity in Euro Yen, which starts from right here on the short term, where we can see strong bullish momentum starts forming earlier this week. It's still Monday. And it actually starts to make sense for a few reasons, at least in my opinion, I'm starting from daily time frame here, right? First of all, we can see that there is a structure which is coming a few pips higher than that, right? And we can extend that to create a channel like this. But in general, my idea for this move at the moment is uh, some sort of ABC happening, all right? On the other hand, the move to the upside also starts to look like a potential ABC, which has, of course, uh, a lot of room. Well, not a lot of room. We don't know that. I'm, I'm not supposed to say that, but it has the potential to move higher uh, drastically. So in terms of the L wave count, it's not very clear at the moment. I just can say that my assumption for the up move, sorry, is let's say something like that, right? Or if this thing breaks and finally moves higher, that would be one, two, three, four, and then five continuing, okay? Something like that. In any case, we're supposed to get here a move up, that's the bottom line. So that's about daily, right? Because we started with the uh, short term. Just wanted to show you the overall view of what we're dealing with here on the higher time frames. Now, when we go down to the lower time frames, things start to get things start to get a bit more interesting, in my opinion, because here we're dealing with this channel, right? Uh, the price bounced; it created a false break right there, right? And now it moves up, breaking above with a lot of momentum, by the way. A significant resistance so that first of all is breaking the consolidation which we can see here all right it's breaking the high it's breaking the triple pivot level and all that within the middle of that channel of course we should be also paying attention to the strongest level when it comes to the supply demand there all that simultaneously breaking up, all right? So in my opinion, this is the place where we can actually start looking for sell opportunities. Those are the levels to the downside and this is already too much for me. So I'm going to remove, remove this one, sorry. But in general, we can split um, the levels that I'm following into two zones. So the first zone is somewhere around here. That doesn't work for me because unless I go down to the 15 minute or something, I can't really scalp. And this scenario and this option, we can discuss at the moment because the price is still pushing up. We, we don't have the needed data there. So this is probably going to be updated in the Telegram group um, with the other main members of Traders Terminal. But for the rest of you guys watching this video, you should, in my opinion, at least focus on this kind of zone right here. And I'm extending it slightly to the upside because of the trend line. And we might find the support right on the trend line below, before, not below, before uh, dropping lower. But why this level? Because that's the bottom of this one and the top of this one, right? And those are the yellow lines. And then you have weekly, I believe, is the green at the moment. Yeah. And then you have daily with the red line here. So all that, along with the bottom of the channel, becomes a fantastic zone to start looking for bullish opportunities. And if this thing pushes up, of course, the corrective patterns are tricky. So definitely look for confirmation of this reversal if it all comes down right this is what we're looking for the price to come down and make a reversal here in this level then up all right um so yeah in terms of the fibos and the projections you have the 61.8 and then you have the 100 percent then of course we have uh the, these two levels on the way up and um the top of the channel and the projection 
So that's pretty much how I see it. If the price goes lower, we can be looking for optimal buy scenarios from that zone. And short term, a bit more aggressive, uh, we can be looking for bullish opportunities right here. But unfortunately, we cannot discuss this at the moment because we don't have the data. Right? Those are the two, uh, the two levels which I see and the two opportunities. Now, if the price breaks and moves more to the upside, and then it does something like this, right? I will be neutral on that move, all right? Because our edge is from trading the breakout immediate pull by then continuation pair. If the price moves towards the top of this, whatever that is, right? The channel, bullish channel or so, uh, we're, we're kind of losing our edge because then we have most likely more room to the downside rather than to the upside. So this is another scenario to be mentioned. And of course, if the price breaks lower without any reversal patterns, without any reversal signs, then of course, once again, this thing is invalidated. So uh, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.